Want to know if you'll need radiation after your breast cancer surgery? We will teach you all about it. Breast cancer radiation plays a very important role in breast cancer treatment. Unfortunately, when you're diagnosed, you're already dealing with so many other things, such as getting a breast MRI, preparing for surgery, or maybe even preparing for chemotherapy. And what can be lost in this fast-paced, very stressful time are discussions about the indications for breast radiation. Because your surgical choices, and even if you choose chemotherapy upfront before surgery, can sometimes affect whether or not you will need breast radiation. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you when breast radiation is needed after a lumpectomy. You will also learn when radiation is needed after a mastectomy, called post-mastectomy radiation therapy. It's sometimes important to see a radiation oncologist before surgery, and I'm going to teach you when you need to do that, because most of the time you see them after surgery. And I'm also going to share with you a few situations where you might be able to avoid breast radiation. So let's get started. So will I need radiation after my breast lumpectomy? Well, in the vast majority of cases, the answer is yes. When you and your breast surgeon are talking early on about maybe pursuing a lumpectomy, well, it's important to note that a lumpectomy followed by radiation is just as effective as a mastectomy with no radiation for early stage breast cancer. So sometimes the term radiation is not really brought up in the discussion or discussed at length. The way to think about it is that when you take out a cancer out of the breast and you keep the breast, there could be a couple of cancer cells left behind that we don't know about it, even though we tell you we got a well around the cancer. And radiation reduces the chance that one of those cells will grow and the cancer grows back in the breast. Radiation after lumpectomy is invariably needed for younger women. It is needed just as equally for invasive breast cancer and a precancerous condition called DCIS. So when you're planning a lumpectomy, you're sort of committing to breast radiation therapy. So it's important to talk to your surgeon so you understand what radiation is ahead for you. So when is radiation needed after a mastectomy? Well, the short answer is not that often. Post-mastectomy radiation therapy is when radiation is needed after a mastectomy surgery and you could have had reconstruction or no reconstruction. And it's generally performed to lessen the chance of something growing back on the chest wall and in the reconstruction when you're at a higher risk for having that re recurrence. So most of the time it's applied to women that have a more advanced cancer when their tumor is very large or you have inflammatory breast cancer, which it's invariably needed. Also, if you're found to have a lot of lymph nodes involved with cancer, certainly an indication. But post-mastectomy radiation therapy is also helpful in women with early stage breast cancer in a few situations. Let's say your surgeon removes the breast tissue, do a reconstruction or not, but they find under the microscope after surgery that the cancer is at the edge of the tissue that they remove. Well, then sometimes you need radiation after surgery to make sure nothing grows back. The take home point is that these are very complicated decisions that you must make with your surgeon and radiation oncologist, and sometimes medical oncologist is involved. Next, I'll tell you how to best make these decisions. And I'll also reassure you that most of the time, you will not need post-mastectomy radiation therapy. So when should you consult with a radiation oncologist before surgery rather than after? Well, there's a simple principle that applies to almost anything. The more someone knows about you, the more they can help you. So there are a few situations where it's a good idea to visit with a radiation oncologist before surgery, meaning the tumor is taken out, or chemotherapy if they're going to have it before surgery because the tumor shrinks away. A couple of those situations. Inflammatory breast cancer. It is essential for your radiation oncologist 
to see the extent of the tumor in your breast, the involvement of the skin, the size of the lump, evidence of cancer in your lymph nodes. The same applies for a large tumor in your breast, a big one that you can feel that you're probably gonna have a surgery and there's some concerns that it might spread to other areas in the area of the chest wall. If you have a lot of lymph nodes involved, that might be a good situation to visit with the radiation oncologist. So think about it, your radiation oncologist will examine you, look at the size of the tumor, look at the skin, look at your imaging, examine and find out whether you have lymph nodes, and also, and even more importantly, educate you about radiation, and assess your health status to see if it's something that you can tolerate. If you're unsure that you're interested in undergoing a, a lumpectomy for an early stage breast cancer because you're worried about radiation, and you're trying to decide whether you're gonna have a mastectomy and avoid radiation or have a lumpectomy followed by radiation, and you're struggling with that decision, make sure to ask your breast surgeon to make an appointment to visit with their breast radiation oncologist. Because you can sit down and have a discussion with them to learn more about radiation, what it means. It may reassure you that radiation is something you wanna do, or it may guide you away from radiation because you will conclude that it's something that you do not want to do. So how can I avoid radiation therapy for my breast cancer? Well, your surgical choice, most of all, affects whether or not you get radiation therapy. So if you have early stage breast cancer, and most patients do, and you undergo a lumpectomy, that's generally followed by radiation therapy. But you can also choose to have a mastectomy doesn't particularly make you live longer, so to speak, or cure cancer more. But if you have a mastectomy in this situation, you generally do not need radiation after a mastectomy. So it, your surgical choice really brings radiation into your discussions for your treatment. If you are older, have an advanced age, or have a lot of health issues, a lot of times we feel radiation is not needed or does not benefit you and we can avoid radiation after a lumpectomy. If you have a very small favorable breast cancer or pre-cancer called DCIS, then there's some situations where we can remove the cancer with good margins and avoid radiation. But it, it is somewhat controversial and it's worth asking your surgeon if there's a way to avoid radiation after a lumpectomy. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy, where you get chemotherapy up front to shrink your tumor and maybe cancer in the lymph nodes underneath your arm before surgery. Sometimes that can take someone that if they had surgery initially, they would need radiation after a mastectomy. But if all the cancer is gone after the chemo has killed all the cells and it's shrunk away, then a patient that would have needed radiation after their mastectomy can avoid radiation after their mastectomy. It's a small subset of people, but it's important to know and it's one of the benefits of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Lastly, genomic assays and an evolving technology and science that's now being applied to some patients to help decide if they can avoid radiation. So let me explain. These genomic tests look a little deeper into your cancer and they tell us, is your cancer more likely to recur or less likely to recur than what we know already. And these tests can sometimes identify a patient that is at a low risk of the cancer growing back in the breast after surgery without radiation. And in those low risk patients, it's reassuring that they might avoid radiation because the chance of something growing back is already low and it's hard to make a low number even lower. It's approved in a few situations. It's an evolving science. It's not applied to many, but it's important to know that that is coming down for breast cancer patients in the future. It is super important for you to learn early on in your breast cancer treatment journey what role radiation therapy will play for you. And along the way, learn as much as you can about radiation so you make the very best breast cancer treatment decisions for yourself. To learn more about if you will need breast radiation, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. 
Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.